Namue's artisanship is yours to peruse. Until we meet again, strange one. Gracing me with your presence once more? As do so many, strange one. Ask, and I will answer. Oh, a place of great beauty. Palaces of gold, fields of green and blue and fuchsia, cheerful glades lit with the songs of our people. You have not seen the like, strange one, for it does not exist. One can see hints of it here and there, intertwined with the dreary sphere that has since festered around us. I will find a way to restore it. Indeed, the seed of a plan has already been set in motion. Yet, so much remains mere hope and conjecture. Perhaps, one day... Uh, to voice it would raise my hopes too far, or worse, belie how pathetic the plan truly is. No, better to reveal nothing for the nonce. The one true king rules this kingdom with an iron fist, mollifying his subjects with promises of freedom and prosperity. And to be sure, there was prosperity. For some. Those who did not offer praise and fealty, who did not share in the royal values, who were deemed unworthy in myriad ways, their prosperity was taken and given to the favored. It was freedom for some at a cost to many. And eventually, there were some who sought to plot against him. And so, one tyrant was replaced with another. The one true king was inviolate. But the imposter called upon a dark magic. And thus were two kingdoms twined, and thus, chaos surrounding. Before his deposition, there were those who believed it foolishness to oppose the one true king, that our very world relied upon his rule. This turned out to be true. I saw it myself at the end. In the final seconds before our kingdoms collided, the twining was not mere coincidence, nor punishment. It was an inevitable consequence. Two worlds ruined by the hubris of the one. Alas that I did not see it sooner. It is amusing that you think I owe you anything at all, strange one. I have told you all that I wish to, just as you have told me all that you wish to reveal about yourself. Certainly, strange one. It is as you say. Farewell for now then.
All right, come and get me. Okay, this is it.
Here they come! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Away, beast. We have pressing business here. Onro, I believe this beast has come to petition the council. <laughs> that creature? Fey law does not apply to such as they. You realize we make the laws here, Onoril? Step up to the podium, petitioner. I, at least, am curious what you have to say. Hail, stranger. I am Savon, speaker of the One True King's Council. State your nature and business for the record, please. Your nature, yes. What are you exactly? You're not one of the... Well, what do they call themselves? The Dran, are you? Then why, pray tell, should we waste our time with you? This is a Fey Council, and we have more imperative matters than to play guide to outsiders. Great power, you say. And why would you seek such entities? Do you speak of killing the Fey? They did not specify their prey, Nael. In any case, the Fey have been left with only political power. Not power of the kind you seek. Hmm. Unless you're both wrong, and they seek the imposter. Immaterial! This council cannot aid the petitioner in any way. Given our current troubles, we bear neither the desire nor the means. You have wasted quite enough of our time, foreigner. The Fey have far more important concerns than you before us. Oniril speaks true, but a thought occurs to me. Perhaps this stranger could be of use to us. Our kingdom has been thrust into chaos, stranger. The one true king has been usurped by an imposter, aided by someone on this council, no less. But we know not whom. If you will exceed, Fey law allows for an independent party to aid our investigation. Perhaps your eyes can bring clarity where our trust has failed. Do you accept? Hold! I do not accept. This is a foreigner. Hardly more than a mute beast. The law does not allow such to conduct investigations or judgments on our behalf. Have you ever considered, Onoril, that our job is to make the law? Both arguments are heard and deemed irrelevant. We do not ask them to make judgment, only to aid in an investigation that we have voluntarily foregone. The law supports this. A great tragedy, stranger. For eons, the Fey and this council have faithfully served the one true king. But alas, his rule has been curtailed. The imposter, Faelin or Feyrin or whatever they call themselves now, placed the king in an eternal slumber from which he cannot be woken. The king was attacked in his own chambers, behind this very door. The imposter could not have entered without aid from a member of this council. But, of course, we all have our alibis, as you can imagine. None of us were here. This has been proven many times. If you can find any evidence tying one of us to this tragedy or to the imposter, then Fey justice might be done. It won't be enough, Savan. The imposter still sits upon the throne. Yet, it will be a step, and a necessary one, toward restoring order among the Fey. It means you're not Fey, and your life is easily forfeit. Please, Oniril. Stranger, we will discuss the conditions of your accusation if and when you choose to make one. We do not. This fast does nothing. Peace, Oniril. The law is clear on this point, as you well know. I will answer your question, stranger. With a traitor among us, trust has shattered. If any of us were to produce evidence at this stage, it would be suspect by all. And rightly so. Either of you would love any excuse to remove me from the Council. And you do not wish to hold half the Council's power yourself, Onoril? You cannot pretend it isn't true. Regardless, stranger, 
You are not from this world, either of these worlds. So any evidence you bring would be free from the suspicions which we have cast upon ourselves. We now know that the imposter approached each one of us at some point, whispering promises of freedom and power, trying to poison our minds against the one true king. He only said what we wanted to hear. Pity one of us listened. Can you blame them, though? The imposter called out important truths. Is that an admission of guilt, Nael? If you would allow me to finish. I was saying he called out important truths that we must take to heart, despite the poison that obviously accompanied them. We would do well to address the flaws raised by the imposter. And I find it difficult to cast blame on any who thought there might be a smoother path towards doing so. And yet that path has led to ruin. We have merely exchanged one tyrant for another. Indeed, but our feelings on the outcome are irrelevant. This council must be absolved of guilt if we are ever to restore order to the Fey. Precisely my point. This foreigner may have any number of reasons for accusing any one of us. Which is why, if and when evidence is produced, we alone will pronounce the final judgment. And if that evidence has been falsified? Tainted? How do I know one of you has not paid this interloper to act on your behalf? Onoriel, only you assume that everyone is as unscrupulous as yourself. Not everyone seeks power at any cost. Yeah. Very well. I will judge it when I see it. I trust no one. But I trust the two of you less than this foreigner. Alas, we do not know. There is no blood. No wound that we can see. Not that we were able to investigate the scene fully. At your request, Onoriel. I cannot trust either of you backstabbers nor anyone you might call to serve us. Were those not your words? Oh, they were, indeed. And the sentiment holds. Regardless, it is unknown even what could harm the king. For it is said that no mortal weapon can kill him. And many have tried. The King has ruled over the Fae as long as anyone can recall. He has always been a guiding force, both in our world and our lives. Some believed he was too much of a guiding force. Mm, more than some. Yet, look at us now. The King sleeps, and our world is spun into chaos. Indeed. Would seem his life is more entwined with our wealth than anyone knew. Imagine what would have happened if he had been killed. Oh, of course! How could we have been so blind? The genius of this foreigner, who is so much more clever than all of the Fey together. Please, Onoriel. Their question is academic curiosity. The simple answer, stranger. Is magic of a kind more powerful than any here have yet seen? We suspect the imposter's conspiracy went even deeper than this council alone. All the more reason to identify the conspirator among us. They are a monster. They care nothing for the welfare of the Fey. Nor those of us who serve the Fey. Nor for the law. On this we all agree. The imposter's plan should never have been carried out. So it would seem. We cannot function like this, stranger. If we cannot root out the traitor, then this council remains impotent. As you will, stranger. Should you find evidence, though, bring it before us.
return. I trust you have purpose here. Good. Be gone. 